Okay, okay. Um, hey everyone, it's Craniados, star of Craniados' crazy spin-off series. And, um, today, uh, here it is. Uh, wait, what am I supposed to say? Oh yeah, let's introduce the cast. Okay, so first of all, it's the perfect me. <laughs> yeah, next we got the first person ever voted out of TPI. She was too happy, and now she's a giant vegetable that smells bad and is sometimes emo. Give it up for Gloom! Hi. Life is meaningless. I hate my life. Um, everyone hates your life. Now, let's get on to our next star. He's the man with all the numbers. He's a magical toaster, a computer, and a weird robot all in one. Give it up for Porygon! Hi. Next, we've got the big old lovable, lovable seal. He's blue, he's got a mustache, and sometimes he sees spirits that aren't really there. Give it up for Celio! I'm not crazy! Hi. Last of all, we've got my favorite pinecone dog in the world. He's got all the history in his noggin. Give it up for Ziggy! Hi. All right. Now today, instead of doing some mini adventure, which we might do eventually, we're going to interview the loser of episode 13. Wait, that's me! Why don't we find out how I was voted off? Okay, so Kranidos, what was it like on the island? Oh, well, it was fantabulous. I mean, I had so many friends. It was great, except for the challenges of food. Yes, did you have any love interest in, in on the island? Well, now that you mention it, no, I never did. I kind of liked Lily, but... I think Trico likes her. That's never gonna happen. <laughs> now, what would you say about your... What, we, what did you say about the food and the challenges? They were crappy! I hated them! I mean, seriously, I wanted to blow my head off when I did them. Ugh, and the food just tasted... I can't even explain how bad it tasted. Right, now about your elimination... Yes, I, I don't know how, was, how I was eliminated. Everyone wanted Happini to leave, yet I was voted out. Someone did something. Yes, let's find out what happened. Porygon? Alright, so there were six people who did not complete the challenge. And those six were, well, of course, you. Baltoy. Cherubi. Happini. Trico. And last of all, I Rava. This is stupid. Shut up, Granados. I'm explaining. And you each had 16.6% chance of leaving. Now, Cherubi could not leave because she had many people with her. She had herself, Baltoy, Happini, Chinchow, Cinequil, Evie, and Dratini. That's more than your team. That's more than half, so she was safe. By Brava, everyone liked him. No one hated him. Trico, I don't know. He had a lot of friends. But some people did dislike him. So it was just you three, leaving you each with a 33.3% chance. Now as for voting results, I have them all here. Oh great, I want to see who voted me off so I can beat them to a brawl. Shut up, we don't want to hear what you'll do. Shut up, I'm thinking of a word to use. I was going to say bloody pulp, but that... Wait, what were we talking about? Whatever. For Happini, the votes were clear. It was all her friends, Cherubi. Cinequil, Chin Chow, Evie, and you, because you actually listened to the girls. Now, Dratini voted for Baltoy because she thought of him as weird. He never really talked, and he looked weird, so, yeah. As for you, Kranidos, everyone hated you, just plain out hated you. So, Kalo, Happini, Baltoy, what? Trico. And by Bravo. And Ivysaur could have gotten Happini out, but decided for you. What? What? Oh no, they didn't. Yep. Now let's go to Ziggs to find out why you were voted out. Yeah, I think it's pretty clear once you understand this. So this is pretty much all the important stuff in his TBI life. So first of all, he joined in Episode 5, The Fossil Challenge, and won it for... Well, yeah, nothing really happened to him. Um, then, he was out Eden in episode 6. 
the eating challenge by Toe Denial. That was pathetic. Then, he refused to jump in episode 7, jumping off a cliff, and cost his team the win. Then, we have Got a Strike in episode 8. In bowling, that really helped. They still lost because of Celio. Hey, I had problems then. You still have problems. I hear you. You're supposed to. Okay, then we got was caught first in episode 9 along with Trico, Talo, and Vibrava because Cedra hated them all. It was funny, but they didn't die, so you know. <laughs> Fine. Then we got was beaten up in episode 10 by Cedra and Larvitar. Finally, we have couldn't face fear in episode 13, which was jumping off the cliff. You still couldn't do it. Now, as for your elimination results, um, these are the times you got to the bottom two and voted out. So, you got into the bottom two, episode 7, and you were voted out, episode 13. Wow, no wonder I was voted out. I'm a crappy player. I, I barely ever did anything good for the team, and, um... Yeah, but I was never in the bottom two except for once. And you're all probably wondering, hey, what about Gloom? Why isn't she doing it? Why isn't she doing anything? Well, here's the thing. To help us even more, in the comments, write any questions you have for me, any of the castmates, like right here, not in the actual show, or the losers that are here. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, and for Celio's question, answer in the comments. That's right. We want you to talk in the comments. Or else, no more happiness in happy land. Okay, so Celia, your time to shine. Finally, okay, here's my question. Do you think it was fair Cranny Ghost was voted out? Answer no, answer no, they'll put me back. Answer yes, answer yes, it was completely fair. Shut up, Celio, no 